देख सकते हैं कि हम लाइन मॉड्यूल It is something that uh, we we kind of shared this morning. Um, I, I mean, the, the president congratulates India. Obviously, it was uh, within the OPGA office. Uh, many of the Indian colleagues were were celebrating that achievement. Congratulations to ISRO and all of the people of India. And this is a victory not just for India but for the entire world as we go into this new era of lunar development and India is leading the way. It's amazing to have the success that Chandrayaan-3 has had given the relatively little amount of resources that India has used. It's just a triumph of Indian innovation, human capital, and the capabilities that will take India even farther. And that's what I'm so excited about. This is just a first step on the amazing journey of discovery that India is on. Having signed the Artemis Accords, now as part of the Artemis Accords effort in the family of nations, this is just the beginning of the journey of India, along with international partners developing the moon, not only for scientific and discovery and exploration with ISRO and civil space agencies, but I'm even more excited about is India's interface development with commercial space companies such as my own with Redwire, where we're building parts of the Lunar Gateway, developing systems on the moon to create landing pads. India joining the private sector will drive a new golden age in commercial space and can transform what commercial space is, not only for India and the US, but globally. So congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. And again, this is just the beginning of a new era led by India, fantastic to see the flag, and not just Chandrayaan-3 and the hardware and the science, but our values, our shared values between India and the U.S. of democracy, of freedom and liberty on the moon. Congratulations to wow.